good morning. It's time to go home. We got here to our yard in Manitoba so late last night, it was too late to go home. I didn't want to wake up the whole house. Would have gotten home at about 2.30 probably, maybe three. Then I have to shower and then go to bed. So it was too late to go home. So let's go home now. The sun's up, it's morning time. It's a Saturday. Let's go get this truck to my shop, get in the pickup and go get some stuff done at home. I think I gotta hang some Christmas lights. I think that's on my honey-do list this weekend. We also got some new furniture. I'm excited for that. my Wabasto bunk heater. It needs a service. I'm just trying to get it going right now. I've been having problems with it this week. It's been working fine up until now. But uh, it doesn't always want to fire up. You got that white smoke. Well, that not fired up. You hear that? So I've been able to get it going every night, but it's been taking a little bit of convincing and there's a little bit of smoke involved. So I wanted to try to get it going in the shop here. I can air it out. I should open that door actually. Uh, I'll do that right away. Uh, I want to see if I can get it in here when it's quiet. That's why I had the door down. I wanted to be able to hear what was going on. Is it misfiring? Is it even firing up? I can hear it going now. I don't know if it'll keep going. Definitely needs a service or needs to be replaced. So that'll be included in my next service to the truck, I guess. Oh, see? Yeah, it shut down. Didn't fire up. Fires up for a bit and then shuts down. And it does that a few times and then usually it gets going. But last night, middle of the night, suddenly it just stopped altogether. So the Wabasa bunk heater, what it does is it takes diesel fuel, like a drip from my fuel tanks into a little bunk heater. That's like a, an indoor, it's called a Wabasto heater. It's underneath my sleeper. Oh, see, it's trying again. Underneath my sleeper, it blows warm air into my cab and obviously blows the exhaust out here. It saves me a lot of fuel and a lot of engine maintenance, but it needs to be serviced about once a year. And I didn't service it this year yet. And winter is here. I thought I could get through one more winter. Nope. So you can hear it running now, right? It sounds pretty good. See the exhaust goes down underneath the cab. See a little bit of that exhaust smoke coming out. There shouldn't be any smoke. It's coming out from there. Yeah, there definitely shouldn't be any smoke, so it's hopefully just needs a good cleaning. It might need to be replaced. That will need to do before winter, because that saves me a lot of a lot of money and fuel. Because I I shut this truck off at night, right down to minus 25 Celsius. So that thing keeps me warm in the cab through the night. And I have another one that's in that white box. There's another one in there. That one keeps the coolant warm inside my engine. So that in the morning, I have that on a timer. Two hours before I wake up, that thing starts, warms up my engine so that at minus 25, without plugging it in, I can still turn it over and start it in the morning, right? So I'm warm, the truck is warm, everyone's taken care of. But, I'm not supposed to be doing that. The exhaust goes, oh, see, turned off again. Turned off again. The exhaust goes straight down there. Well, shoot. Shoot. Trucker Josh, you should have serviced your heater, Trucker Josh. You're supposed to do that every year, Trucker Josh. 
Yeah, well, things are expensive and sometimes I try to get two years out of it, okay? Sometimes three. All right, we got the door open so that we can vent this place out. But now I got it running, you see? Takes a little bit of coaxing. Took a few attempts. Now you can hear it running. And look at this frame, eh? One of my, uh, I'm actually getting this all inspected uh, in a couple of weeks. I'm getting my whole frame inspected back here. Uh, we need to get it sandblasted and painted. Gotta get the whole frame done. Uh, I just wanna know when. Is it like a now problem? Is it like a next year problem? Or is it like a, you know, you could probably wait a year or two problem? But either way, this frame is gonna have to be done soon. It's gotta be taken all apart. Everything's gotta be taken off, sandblasted, painted. And I can also put an extra 24 inches on it if I want, and I'll still be within legal limits. So I might do that. Well, it seems to be working now, see? Now the heat is working. So the exhaust comes out here, it's not smoking anymore. And then, uh, ah, shoot, you probably can't see in here. It comes out down there. Um, the light on in here? There's a little vent down there, uh, you can't really see it. It's blowing hot air in here. And then it keeps the whole cab warm. So it's been running steady here for several minutes. This is how it's been all week. Got to play around with it, play around with it, play around with it, and all of a sudden, oh, there it goes. And then it lasts through the night until this last night. I woke up, I was cold. I was like, why am I cold? My bunk heater's on. Turn the bunk heater up, nothing happens. Oh. But I got it going again now. So, <laughs> we all know it needs a service. Or maybe it needs to be replaced. Maybe it's just old. It, it was with the truck when I bought it. And uh, I haven't had it looked at since. I've gotten my engine heater replaced, because that's important, right? I've gotten the, 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 the same kind of one that heats up my engine. Gotten that one replaced recently. Uh, so that my engine can start in the wintertime, because that's kind of important. You don't want your engine not to be able to start. But this one just started giving me problems now, so. Reaching back here, feeling with my hand. It's still blowing hot air. And it's not sputtering. It's running nicely. Okay, so the truck's not going to the shop this week. I was hoping I could get another two weeks out of this thing yet. We'll see. Uh, next time I go in for a service, probably closer to Christmas or New Year's, maybe between Christmas and New Year's, we'll see what the shop is uh, as available, maybe first thing in the New Year and get the truck serviced and also get this thing serviced and looked at. What else do I need to get done? Oh yeah, and like I was saying, the frame. I'm getting a frame inspected and I want their professional opinion on uh, when I should be uh, redoing my frame. It's always something, it's always something. Having a truck is very expensive. It's very risky, but it's very fun. I wouldn't trade it. And what they do is they take everything off the frame. As much as they can anyways. Maybe not everything, but they take a lot of the stuff like this would definitely come off the frame. And all of this up here as well. They sandblast it all, get everything off, but get it all to a nice smooth clean finish again. What they can do is they can add a 24 inch piece in here if they want. Stretch out the frame a little bit. Or leave it as is. Either way, strip everything off of this thing, the whole thing front to back. And then they repaint the frame and then when they're done with it, it looks like a brand new frame. Like they do this whole area up here. I know it's all dirty now, but uh, everything inside and out, it would all be like brand new when they're done with it. When I bought the truck, it had a little bit of a dent right there. It was obviously hit with a fifth wheel pin. This one's dented a little bit too. It's an old truck, right? But uh, that I would get them probably replaced. That would be the whole plate or at least bend it straight. And it's gonna look brand new. So I got some projects today. We've ordered a new change table because he's outgrown this change table now already. Have I showed you his nursery yet? We haven't set up his name or anything or any of his decorations. We just got the basics up. Still a lot to do to settle in. But that's project number one put together that uh, change table. It'll go right in here. Let me give you a better angle. There, a bit better lighting. So yeah, that's gonna be the change table that goes right there because he's so long already that his head goes right up against here and then he can 
kick this. And he keeps kicking this pretty hard. We don't want him to hurt himself as he's kicking on it, right? And it's just a little bit small. He's a little bit big. So that's the first project. The next project is in our bedroom here. Well, I guess I should have cleaned this up first. Eh? Oh, whatever. This is real life. Real life, real vlog. We have this sheet over the blanket so that uh, when the dogs come up here, that it's easy to clean. We got a new dresser, which will replace that dresser there. And there's two boxes there. Two nightstands that'll replace these mismatched ones. That one there. And that one there. Then we'll have matching ones and the dresser obviously matches that as well. There's a light on in here. So this is our this is our master bedroom. And then from here we got a sliding door that goes right into the bathroom. This is Britt's bathroom, mine's downstairs. And that just goes back up into the hallway. And then, so the master bedroom is here. Theo's bedroom is there. And this is the, well, we're clearing this out. Our goal is to get rid of every single one of these boxes yet. This will be our next kid's bedroom. Get that ready yet. So when we moved in, we got a new dining room set as well. It has two leafs that go in here and it extends out. We've got some extra chairs. You can fit eight people around it when it's fully extended. And on Black Friday, <laughs> got a new TV. Only like 400 bucks. That's a good deal. I didn't even have to fight her for it. Nope. And that's going to, are we putting that in the living room here? Still undecided. Undecided. Because if we put it here, we would have to put it on a mount up there so that it stays in the corner. So we want the TV in the corner so that it sort of fills up the living room. But then we have to buy a swivel mount. Yeah. But we do have a mount where we could mount it right up on the wall over there. But then it's awkward watching TV if you're sitting on that couch. We've got to put together that change table and then get those dressers set up. Mount the TV and set up the outside Christmas lights as much as I can get done this weekend. At least the front. At least the front, yeah. Because we, we are the house of shame on our block right now. Everybody else's houses are all lit up all the way down the street. Hey, we have our big snowman out front. Yeah, we got something. We have a wreath on the front door. It's not complete shame. But still, we cannot be outdone by our neighbors. We have to create a good first impression. At least a first impression. We can't let that first impression be like, oh, these guys don't decorate for Christmas. They will be, they'll see next year, they'll see. And then after all of that, and sometime today, I've heard rumors that a, a certain jolly feller is in town in a big red suit and somebody <laughs> Gets to go and meet Santa for the first time today. So excited. I've been waiting my whole life to bring my baby to see Santa. We finally arrived. So, when you go through the kitchen here, there was the hallway that we were in before. You go into the breezeway. We got something for in here too. That's where we take the dogs out. Hang up all our clothes and stuff. And... We got this, it was just delivered on Friday. All of our furniture is from Dufresne Furniture. Uh, this is not an ad for them or anything. They, I think it's uh, the same company as Ashley Furniture. Uh, we just happen to get all of our furniture, everything was from there. Uh, the, even couches downstairs, all the coffee tables, everything in the bedrooms that I just showed you. This here, uh, it's a nice little bench so you can sit down and tie your shoes. It's also storage. I like to stick to the same place. I mean, you've probably noticed that. Same thing with my truck, the shop, and everything else. I like to stick to the same place. I find a place that I like, and I stick to it like glue. Though it would probably be good to you know do some shopping around sometimes to see if there are you know, better things out there. But we found everything that we wanted at Dufresne, and it's 
been really good. And they have a location in Steinbeck, so that's that helps a lot too. We don't have to go all the way to Winnipeg. Chevy. We got more hanging there, more hooks hanging there. Nice big pantry in here. Got a Chevy right there. It's a dinner for champions right there. Uh huh? Oh, I'm back in the truck. This is where I get a lot of my editing done. I found that uh, I don't really get a lot of work done when I'm at home because I got better things to do when I'm at home than work. I, I try to get all my work done during the week when I'm at on the road or in the truck. I try to, then I don't have much to do when I get home on the weekends because, uh, to be honest, I just don't want to work on the weekends. Or when I'm home. I'm not always home on the weekend. Sometimes I'm home like during the week too, middle of the week. But when I'm at home on the weekend, when I'm at home, uh, I just want to be at home. Be there with my family. Hold my son. My wife. Watch some movies. Relax. Maybe do nothing. I mean, that hasn't happened yet, but we're still hoping that one of these days soon I can just do nothing for like, I don't know, a couple hours. Maybe even a whole day one day. Ooh, I'm asking for too much there, I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap this up for you here. I put this all together. It was kind of a mini tour of the house. I was sort of gonna walk through the whole house with you there, but I'll give you a little bit here and a little bit there. And once we have everything up on the walls and uh, it like fully settled in, it takes a long time. Any of you who have moved before, I'm sure you can relate. It takes a long time to settle in completely, so. Uh, we'll do the official house tour once it's ready to be showcased, I guess. But for now, I mean, you've pretty much you've seen the basement now, you've seen the upstairs, uh, the bedrooms, you've seen the whole house, pretty much. I mean, there's a couple of rooms that we haven't shown you yet, like the freezer room. And I don't think I've showed you the laundry room. So those of you who were just really desperately hoping to see the laundry room one of these days, well, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to see this stuff or not, but... Uh, even for my records here on my channel, I want to have one video where we sort of just walk through the whole place so that I can look back on it one day when, you know, 20, 30 years down the road and be like, yeah, you remember when we first moved in? This is how we first had the house set up when we settled in. Yeah, you get it. Because these vlogs aren't just for you to watch. They're also for memories for us to go back on in the future, like decades in the future to look back on it, right? Thanks for watching today, though. Uh, we went to go see Santa that evening. Uh, that went really well. It was Theo's first visit with the big guy so hopefully he told him everything that he wanted I mean Santa didn't even ask him I thought about it later I was like well I didn't even ask him what he wanted but I mean he is only eight months old so I'm sure it was like telepathic it was like he, Santa knows he knows right so uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow remember when you're out there on the highways to drive safe keep your head up pay attention to what you're doing on the road keep your eyes on the road keep your stick on the ice which means in Canadian that means pay attention be ready for anything I'll see you in tomorrow's video don't forget to subscribe